tired of food that's plasticized and processed and homogenized beyond recognition. They like food with character. Same is true in bread. The trend these days is toward whole grain. And Bob Moore is a guy who's getting in on the ground floor of that food revolution. Our cereals, our flour, our cornmeal, all of our other flours are all whole grain. We leave everything in so that you have the benefit of that fiber in your diet. Most people tell me they feel better when they eat that way. This kind of work never gets to be a grind for Bob Moore. He likes nothing better than the sound of the millstone grinding and the smell of flour dust in the air. The wheat is up in that bin, and it travels down here, and then what I'm doing here is raising that stone up against the other one so that it, uh, I'm starting to get fine flour. Now I'll check it here and see how it is. This is soft Oregon wheat. It's grown over in, uh, in near the Dalles, and this, is, this makes some of the best pastry Part of its appeal is the authentic way in which it's ground. This millstone is a hundred years old, and Bob found an even older one in Dufer, Oregon. We were fortunate enough to find that sitting in a, an old mill building that closed down in 1933. And uh, this mill is, a, is over a hundred years old. And we brought it over here about six months ago, and we've been working, well, close to six months to get that going. And last night was the first night that that ground flour and it wasn't easy or cheap getting it to work again. I bought this, this belting at an antique store. She didn't know what it was, and uh, I paid $8 for it. <laughs> and I went, it wasn't quite long enough. Can you see this piece right here? I found this piece at a leather company, and I had to buy half the hide to get it, and it cost me $48 for that one little piece. Oh, boy. <laughs> but you see, this, is, this kind of thing isn't common anymore in trying to offer people uh, what the appearance of an old mill was, why sometimes it's costly. But somehow it all works. The old millstones still mesh together perfectly after all these years. I guess that's probably about right, okay, Craig? Partner Craig Ratzett shares Bob's fascination with this old equipment, having worked at Oregon's only water-powered flour mill in Eagle Point. So much of this old machinery was just totally, uh, uh, just abandoned, stuck in a corner someplace, or thrown out beside the barn, and uh, it's just laying there rotting away, and most people don't even recognize it for what it really is. This is a proud day for Craig and Bob as they show off their new toy that's taken half a year to put together. They didn't have to go to all this trouble to make everything work the same way it did a century ago, so why do it? Well, <clears throat> this business is, is complex to me. It's, it's a way of life. It's a way to make a living. But our heritage, our, the historic background of where we're at now was important to me. I read a lot. I love books on history and archaeology. And so I didn't feel that I had the right to just rip these stones out of uh, their past and put them into a completely modern background. In their concern for old-fashioned authenticity, Bob and Craig took apart an old dairy barn and rebuilt it here inside the old horse feed building they turned into Moore's Flour Mill two years ago. The dairy barn is now the mill store. The doors are well-worn from years of cows nibbling away at them. Inside the store are all the flours and cereals made here at the mill, as well as other natural food items popular with the mill's customers. The walls are decorated with old flower sacks Bob's collected over the years. It's not a museum. It's a viable business. General Mills, it's not. There's no automation here. All the products are packaged by hand in the back room. They even print their own labels, and everybody pitches in to help. The pace is relaxed, as relaxed as Bob Moore a man who's forsaken the rat race for the simple satisfaction of grinding his own flour and sharing it with his customers. You're one of the rare guys who can actually say he likes to get up and go to work in the morning, aren't you? I work long hours because I want to and because I enjoy what I'm doing. That's kind of a nice idea because most places sure don't grind them like they used to. Maybe that's what more of them need, though. Yeah, I think you and the mill have something in common. What's that? You both turn out a lot of corn. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, you'll get your chance to...